Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. It's me, Daniel. Happy that you're here today. Today, I would like to thank you, a person from the community, because you brought the idea to my mind to make this video. You have seen it in the title. Today, I'm going to talk about 15 playgrounds for software testers. And as you can see here right now on the screen, I got asked the following questions like, hey, Daniel, is there a playground? Any system that I can use in order to automate for web or for mobile with the latest tools. And I gave that person some answers and some requirements because I have a list of, yes, testing playgrounds in my bookmark history. It's like, hey, phew, this might be the best perfect video for, for the channel because I'm not sure if all of you know some of the demo projects that I'm going to show you in a second. Hey, sorry for the little break of the main video. Today's video is sponsored by Squish, an excellent tool for functional GUI test automation. Squish provides efficient and agile automated GUI testing with multi-toolkit applications. As you can see on the screen, it has tons of powerful features to tackle any testing challenges you and your development team might have. Here are some features that I think are most beneficial. You can record, edit and execute tests with Squish without a steep learning curve. It's very, very intuitive. The tool offers extensive integration options. It's fully compatible with CI CD system and version control system. It's streamlining your workflow for rapid deployment. Another example for its versatility is that it's available in whichever scripting language you use, from Python, JavaScript to Ruby, just to name a few of them. And it's especially good at testing applications on multiple platforms. Whether you're working with Java, Windows or more, Squish has you covered with powerful property-based support. There are a lot of materials on Squish online, but I recommend trying out this interactive tour so you can see firsthand how Squish works. You really get a good general idea now and the feel of the tool. I would recommend you to check the video link down below to take your tour on your own and to learn more about Squish today. And now back to the main video. So, and that's why I thought like, hey, let's share some of the playgrounds that I usually recommend to people where you can practice test automation, exploratory testing. You can use them for your hiring process, for your interviews to see how people act with different situations, how they use tools, how they are working with yeah, browser developer tools or with any tools that they use on their daily lives as software testers or as engineers. And I think there are even more tools out there on the market that we can use as a playground. Yeah? So if you know more tools, let me know down in the comment below which of the um, external available tools you are using so we can grow a long list of topics together yeah and maybe you ask yourself like hey why are those playgrounds so important i have my staging environment in my company and that's it yeah, well maybe you would like to test the latest new ai stuff or you would like to test a new test automation tool that is on the market but you cannot get it up and running with your previous system for example or with your staging system and those external tools or external pages are perfect for that case because you can use the external resources in order to try out something build a poc on top of that and showcase what you have done with a tool and see if that's benefit beneficial or not that's the tool perspective and the other perspective i mentioned before if you have new people in the team in the company and they're not too familiar with software testing you can teach them exploratory testing and testing skills on those public pages because they don't do any damage let's call it damage yeah so they can really try and learn new new things right so and as i said all the links that i'm going to show you in a second really quickly um, are down in the video description for you to follow up on the playgrounds and I put a long list of things over there there's more that you can pick and choose from and I bet there's more out there that I even don't know and but in, in case you have them as I mentioned send me a message or put it down in the comments uh, under this video to to create a long list of topics here hey before we start with the main video I would like to thank you the following companies for their support they support me through the YouTube membership program that I created for companies who care about software testing and are active in supporting the testing community. 
thank you once again. If you want to learn more about to support us, check the video description down below to find the links to their products. If you miss your logo on this page, follow the QR code or send me an email. Happy testing and now back to the main video. So let's check a look. Um, so the first uh, interface that I would like to show you is the demo um, of applitools.com. You can see here is a login form and it's a web application. So we can just press the sign in. Oh, there's something going to happen and see, that's already where you can see uh, what's going on and then you can play around with it. It's, you can have some credit cards, debit card types that you over here. You can do some interactions at accounts and I don't know what not. So it's a web interface that you can use in order to, yeah, automate something against different aspects. Um, I'm really going quickly through them. And as I said, it's everything down below. Um, the next one is called the automation bookstore. As you can see here, there's like eight books. Um, so we have Google test software. You can, you can click on it and nothing is going to work. Not sure why it's not working out. You can search, you can filter. We can filter for it, so do some filter, so you can really use this example for filtering to, um, uh, filtering stuff. And you can see here, it's, it's linking it's linking all to the same page, so the link's not really working out. But again, if we would like to trust something for filters, this might be your, your place to go. Um, the second one is um, Automation Now. Welcome to your software automation practice websites. And as you can see here, you can check for JavaScript delays, form fields, calendars, operations, gestures. You can check for ads and so forth and so forth, depending on the stuff that you would like to explore with your tool. Cool, right? Um, next one is the basic calculator Selenium object. You can use that for, I think this is more, uh, more for exploratory testing. It's from Mike, uh, Mike Talks, um, where he like, Build like a calculator prototype with different prototype versions, and you can see like depending on what you which prototype build you selected, the calculator behaves differently. Let's phrase it like that. Really cool thing. I use this for exploratory testing in one of my uh, students' classes. Um, another one is um, this is a GitHub project from the Cypress IO. Uh, it's called Cypress Real World App. So you have like really an app that you can uh, that you can download. Um, you can see how how to build it, and you can deploy it on the different um, on your different staging systems. That's even something that you can s uh, ramp up internally if you would build some something on top of it. But it's a pre predefined app, which is really cool that you can use in order to test something. Really like it. Next one is the demo QA. It's from um, yeah. We can you can say similar to the one that I showed you before. You can check for some elements. You can see here. You can see checkboxes and then you can automate against those those elements you have the forms or what else practice form to fill out the forms with the test automation tool and so forth um, there's the the project called hands-on selling web driver with java also you get some insights here like long page how to scroll for example in these kind of topics all over here web storage this display local storage so you can you can do a lot of things with this site as well similar to the other one um, then we have the Lambda test playground, Selenium playground again here. So you have a lot of stuff that you can that you can you can verify, um, like like alerts and stuff like that. So everything that is out there and something that is maybe similar to your application. That's what I wanted to say. In case you have like similar um, similar UI elements basically, and you would like to see if the latest tool can handle it, those demo projects are really perfect for it. We have another Lambda test um, a web store, an e-commerce platform where you can go shopping, buy some stuff and also test it for, co for sure. We have the OWASP uh, juice shop, which is really cool because you can, you can check for some security um, aspects or non-functional requirements. Um, if you have something similar for accessibility, for example, let me know. That would be also really nice to put in that list. But the juice store is really cool to improve your security skills. Then we have a banking application. So in case you're working in a banking field, this is an application that you can also use over here to, to verify and to test. We have uh, from Source Labs, um, even though the, the, the repository isn't archived since a couple of years now, um, even though it's a, it's a sample app that you can download, you can see if it's still working. I haven't tried it so far lately, but uh, it's an iOS Android app that you can use in order to do some manual testing, uh, manual or mobile testing, I wanted to say. 
Um, here it says, uh, welcome to the internet. Um, so it's like also like a long, a long things that you can you can check and verify again. Similar to the other projects is like checkboxes. So you can see there are checkboxes or like frames, how to handle frames. So this is, um, it's more like non, non-visual, I would say the project, but it, it's doing the same thing. Um, then we have a project called the lab, the Buzang test lab. So it can testing different aspects for web applications, practice how to do test automation. Again, similar thing. Um, also, you can see here what you can expect. And the last one I would like to show you today is the UI test automation playground. And again, here, a lot of things that you can, you can verify. Most of the projects, they have like this is more or less the same structure or like the same um, the same fields, web fields that they support, they're going to support. Um, but, and as you can see, um, most of the projects, they have like a similar set of, of form fields. Um, just go through the list that I just presented to you and see which tool uh, fits best for you um, in your field, which elements are supported for the test automation playground or to try out things and yeah, that's it basically. It's Today is a bit shorter video. I'm going really quickly to all the playgrounds. But um, thanks again for that question that you asked me um, because I think it's really cool to share this knowledge with all of you. There are like multiple playgrounds out there that we can use in order to learn and improve our testing skills without setting up anything from our side internally. It's externally available. Something that you have to keep in mind, it's externally available. So in case the, the, the person or the, the company who is behind that project is shutting down the project, everything is gone. So keep this always in mind. Yeah. And but it's I think it's a pretty, pretty amazing what we can already use out there and yeah, without harming anything. I mean, we could also go to some other e-commerce web shops and do some some testing over there, but we usually are like playing with their production data and that's not so nice. So these are like really demo projects and stuff that we can use, helpful, not damaging anything and giving feedback. And as I said before, in case you know more playgrounds, share them down below in the comments. Um, I think we can only benefit from it. And that's it for today. Thanks for coming by. As always, like it, share it and subscribe it. Um, thanks for having me and see you soon and bye bye.